They call it sinkhole, a large sinkhole in the uh, Missouri Ozarks, uh, it's called Slaughter Sink. And this is the sort of thing that could act as a trap. Uh, during the Ice Age, sometimes these would trap uh, Ice Age animals, and the sediments accumulating in the bottom of the sinkhole would um, uh, essentially entomb and uh, preserve the bones. And sometimes, uh, if these are dug out, which is a tremendous amount of work, and you may or may not yield anything, but uh, such um, areas such as this have been uh, the site, a source of a number of very fine Ice Age fossils, uh, Pleistocene uh, fossils. Uh, large animals uh, like a mammoth or mastodon could uh, fall into something like this and uh, essentially uh, get uh, uh, the bones become buried by sediments. And it's filled with water, as you can see, uh, kind of greenish water that uh, uh, from the recent rains, and that water will drain out. And when it does, uh, then it'll dry out and uh, uh, sediments fill in. It's just gradually filling in. Uh, and of course, as it fills in, the uh, sediments uh, can bury whatever falls in there. And it could be animals of various sorts. Uh, one time there was a deer uh, carcass that had fallen down in there, and the uh, uh, bones are probably buried in those sediments now. And I'm sure the same thing has happened during the Ice Age, because this probably have, has, has existed for at least a million and a half years. And uh, that goes well back into the Pleistocene epoch, way well uh, back into the Ice Age. off right at the edge of into the sinkhole, about 250 feet down.